Hi, I'm Kelly Lewis, Ayurveda. I'm an Ayurvedic practitioner, and I would love to talk to you today about the importance of good oral care. So when I learned about this in my Ayurvedic training, I have to admit that at first I thought it was a little bit of overkill because Ayurveda likes for us to brush our teeth, scrape our tongue with our tongue scraper. Hopefully you've all seen a tongue scraper before and to swish with some type of oil for 20 to 30 minutes. And the first time I did it, I could only keep the oil in for maybe four minutes and then I had to spit it out. But I continued with it every day and I have to say, probably in less than a week, I was up to 30 minutes without even blinking an eye. So 20 to 30 minutes, if you can't do it that long, that's okay. Doing something is better than nothing. So the reason I'm very much a fan of the oil pulling is because I have read different research articles over the past maybe eight years. And what really struck me was what they've discovered. People suffering from dementia, they found this large amount of what they called amyloid plaque in the brain and they've discovered that it's the same plaque that's formed in our mouth from that bacteria that grows in our mouth overnight. And it was just a light bulb moment for me. And I realized, wow, if we could keep it from going out of the mouth and into the body, we could prevent such a horrid disease. Another study found that men who were suffering from impotence had that same plaque in their arteries. And so, I feel like just this small little ounce of prevention can prevent us from suffering needlessly. So with our oil pulling, I've got two oils that we usually use in Ayurveda, an organic cold pressed or unrefined sesame oil or an organic cold pressed coconut oil. Sesame oil is gonna be heavy and warming, whereas coconut's gonna be light and cooling. You can also mix the two if you want. So it's summertime here, I'm predominantly Pitta. I definitely use my coconut most of the time. I will switch to ses sesame in the winter if I feel my vata is getting elevated. So we're gonna, I've got an extra jar here. This was just a jelly jar that I saved and cleaned out. And so I'm gonna pour some coconut oil, show you how to make your own. And this is a six ounce jar, and it's better to use glass when we're dealing with oils instead of plastic, because oils can gently digest, not completely, unfortunately, but enough to where some of those harmful chemicals leach into the oil. So just if you use jelly or anything with little jars, save one and clean it out for your oil. Now we can personalize the oil. You could just do straight coconut or sesame, or you can personalize it. So one of the recipes that you'll see in Ayurveda is they'll add triphala powder. Triphala is three fruits, it's high in vitamin C, so it's gonna be good for uh, cleaning and healing. So you could add, I would say for a six ounce jar, maybe a tablespoon of triphala powder. You can also add activated charcoal. Charcoal, activated charcoal is used to help pull out certain toxins from the body and so that gives you some extra um, help in pulling out things, unwanted things uh, into your mouth. If you're dealing with infections, oregano oil is a, a great essential oil for killing viruses and bacteria. It is, however, extremely hot. So for this six ounce jar, I would recommend no more than one drop per ounce. And that might be too much for you, uh, maybe start with three, you know, one drop per two ounces and see if you can handle it. I've been using the oils for a long time, so I find my tolerance is better than people that are just starting out. So those are some options as far as just improving the healing properties of the oil. Now you can also make it taste better. So I usually put peppermint in mine uh, because of the, the pitta qualities and, and the heating qualities, peppermint gives you this cooling sensation. So I will put about two drops of peppermint per ounce. 
you can, like I said, I've been doing this a long time. You can start with one drop per ounce and see how that is. It might be just right for you. And then if it's not strong enough, you can add uh, another drop per ounce. Another a good essential oil is lavender, but lavender is not for everybody. So if you like lavender, you can add some lavender in. And again, one or two drops per ounce. There's also orange essential oil, which is really nice. And then you're just gonna mix it all up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some activated charcoal to mine. And for this jar, I'm just gonna add two capsules. This can be pretty messy, so just prepare for that. If you've never worked with charcoal, it's very, very messy. All right, so I got my two capsules and I'm gonna add my peppermint oil in. And you can even add peppermint and lavender or peppermint and orange. All right, so I've had 12 drops. And now I just use a, a wooden chopstick from my local Chinese restaurant. Stir it up. And now I've got my oil pool ready for the morning. You just put in about a tablespoon, uh, depending on the size of your mouth and the comfort. Put that in your mouth, swish it around, and when you feel like it's time to spit it out, when you because when you start, you're not going to want to keep it in for 20 minutes. So, um, and that's okay. If you want to spit it out in the garbage can, do not spit it out in your sink. So, in your garbage can, and then rinse your mouth out with water, spit that out. You can spit that out in your sink. And then you're good to go with your breakfast, your um, early morning tea, whatever else you wanna put inside your body. If you're interested in more on Ayurveda, please visit my website, samatawellness.com. That's S-A-M-A-T-A, wellness.com.